Hey yo, just what everybody wanted to see, another video about the Nikon D500. Um, well there's an update and uh, some information. It's good news, don't worry. Oh my god, what's wrong with my D500? I knew there's something wrong with it, something always happens. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a very ugly bird shot I took with a 200-500mm Nikkor. Um, D500 today, uh, DP Review came out with her uh, final score, you can check it, I'll give the link below. They uh, call the Nikon D500 um, one of the best DSLRs we've ever tested. They gave it a score of 91%. It really, I consider that an invalid score. I'd actually rate it at 97 or 98%. The reason they scored it that way is, look, it doesn't matter if it's Canon, a Nikon, Fuji, anybody. Nobody makes a perfect camera that is perfect for sports, action, wildlife, landscape. They said it is not the best camera for landscape, and that's the reason... One of the reasons, the other little piddly reasons that, that they were absolutely completely irrelevant, saying it's not the best video camera in the world. Well, I don't give a damn about video. But if they want to knock some points off for that, that is their prerogative. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, for landscape. There's no perfect camera. The Nikon D810 is king for landscape. It's a gigantic 36 megapixel sensor, and it's got no AA filter, neither does this, the D500. So, but, so you know. This, you know, I do rate it like 97, 98%, which is unbelievably high, and I'm never, you know, I think the only other camera that would actually rate that high would be the Nikon D3. Not the D3S, or certainly not the D3X with the Nikon D3. D700, not too far behind that. D7, uh, 7100 is way the hell up there. I'd actually rate it at like 90, 90, 91% also. Right now, for value-wise, it's absolutely tops. Um, so yeah, it's not the perfect landscape camera, but my god, everything else it does incredibly. And uh, that's point number one. So they just awarded it their gold star, and they said it is I mean, the best DSLRs we've ever used. That's their exact words. So, and Nikon D500 users would probably like hearing that. Uh, you can check it. It's at the uh, top of the news feed on uh, NikonRumors.com. They're talking about that. Uh, the second thing, our... Uh, and this is where some D500s, there's always, you know, you can give someone, you know, a free lunch and they'll complain about the fact that they had to tip the waiter. It's like, well, you got it all for... Someone's always complaining about something. Here's a fact, and I'm going to tell you why these people are morons. People complaining about the fact that Nikon D500 is the first Nikon DSLR to say, no bueno, no dice on uh, fake batteries. See... These batteries are chipped, means there's microchip in there, and the Nikon D500 is specifically... By the way, Nikon, uh, excuse me, DP Review said exactly what I told you people three weeks ago. People said, well, how's the battery usage on the Nikon D500? And I said it's got about 15, roughly about 15% higher battery consumption than uh, other Nikons, and they reported that. They did some specific testing. And their testing is exactly what I told you people. The Nikon D500 uh, engages in some battery suckage. No big deal. Compared to a mirrorless camera, it's nothing. Um, there are two different types of uh, batteries, too. You can actually find it by reading at the bottom. Right here it says uh, lithium-ion 20, okay? Now, there is an older version that's 10, and it is still sold. But any one you buy, like, you know, probably New York or uh, Best Buy, it will be a 20. But if yours says a lithium-ion 10 on your Nikon D500, your consumption is going to be pretty high. Uh, the drain factor, the power curve, I'm going to get into the point where people are idiots about the D500 that are bitching about something that is totally stupid. Uh, so if you do have a, one that says 10 on the back of your battery, it's a genuine Nikon. Both of them are genuine batteries. And by the way, the Nikon D500 will use fake batteries in the vertical battery grip. It will not use it in the camera itself, but if you want to stick a fake battery in the vertical battery grip compartment, that will work. Uh, what people are uh, bitching about, and they're really stupid, is that uh, people say, well, Nikon's being a, you know, a bunch of schmucks by not allowing you to use uh, third-party batteries. And no, they're not. They say, well, you know, Nikon wants to shaft you. They don't want you to buy fake batteries. That's why if you stick a fake battery in the Nikon D500, it will say no dice. You know, it won't work. That's a fact. Now here's where people are, are full of uh, full of uh, donkey poo. Is that what's the reason for this? Y you got to goof if uh, the power drain and the curvature of usage of the battery uh, from the Nikon D500. It wants a specific rate of current, and uh, there are a lot of fake Chinese batteries out there that can be used in current Nikon cameras: D750, D7100, D810, blah 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 blah. 
you got a goof that's got a new if Nikon allowed fake batteries to go in the, the camera which it doesn't some goof would stick a fake battery in there then the camera might crash because the profile of the power drain would be off versus a real Nikon battery and then someone would say oh this new camera is a piece of crap and then they'll write a bad review on Amazon and the, the camera superficially to to other people's like well I'm gonna read the reviews on this camera it's like oh my god people hate this camera it's crashing left or no it's not Nikon does not want you to, yeah, people think, well, we want, Nikon's trying to shaft you to buy their batteries. Well, Nikon wants you to buy their batteries for a specific reason. There are a million ways to skin a cat when it comes to uh, power drain curvature profiles off of lithium batteries. And Nikon is not going to allow you to stick a fake battery in this camera and, you know, have you, uh, you know, subsume, yes, said subsume, the fact that the camera is crappy or awful or has a factory defect or a design flaw. No, because Nikon wants specific power curve off the uh, real batteries. So, um, you know, Apple has been doing this for ages, and people say, well, Apple's a bunch of schmucks. They want you to buy an Apple battery. Yeah, they do. Does that make Apple more money than letting you stick a fake battery? Yeah, it does, but it also keeps up their company profile and image. So, yes, Apple, I mean, Nikon would rather you buy their batteries, and when it comes to the D500, you can only use their batteries. But it's not because Nikon wants to go, ha, 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 you know, I don't want, you know, customers buying our customers using fake batteries anymore, and now we've stopped that. No, it's they don't want their camera getting a crappy image because some moron stuck some, you know, third world, uh, you know, uh, Chinese sweatshop battery in there, and then their D500 crashed because he's using a crud battery. Like, oh, this camera sucks. It should be recalled. Because that would be bad for company profile. So, all these people complaining about the fact that D500 does not allow third party batteries, well, they can stuff it somewhere because that's the reason why Nikon, the D500 consumes more power. Nikon does not want you using fake batteries in their camera. And it's not because they're trying to shaft you for more money, which of course I'm sure they are, every company does, but is there a specific reasoning behind that? Not just because they want more of your money, which every company always wants more of your money, but this is not the reasoning behind why Nikon does not allow fake batteries in their D500. Okay? Get it? Got it? Good. All right? Catch you later. Bye. So that's good news, right?